So, um, this is Seven Rolly Things D and D. This is Christine, <laughs> Dungeon Master. Yep, a Dungeon Master. Sam. I'm Sam. I play Flanders. Uh, Pam. I'm Pam. I play Taze. Uh, Andy. Hi, I play Chess. And Luis. I'm Luis. I play BC. Okay. So, um. Last time on Seven <laughs> Rolly Things. <laughs> <laughs> So, the last time we were at, um, we were traveling, the party was traveling to Lake Horace. Um, Effie Lohart and, um, had enlisted Flanders and Kess and Taze and Bissig to, um, investigate some, uh, fish monsters who had kidnapped some of her, uh, some of the villagers from Fell. Um, and they're tra they were traveling up a river to Lake Horus to see if, um, they could find any fish monsters there. Um, on the way they encountered, um, some needle blights, which they took care of handily. And, um, and Kess was acting strangely reluctant to um, investigate these fish monsters though though he was re he seemed up to it at the time uh, when they when they first were enlisted um, so you guys had stopped for um, for basically lunch and then got attacked by these uh well, you encountered these needle blights. Um, was there anything you wanted to do before? Um, I think you you uh, you did um, loot their their planty bodies. Planty bodies. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, Flanders does have a couple of items that he looted priorly from um, from hanging out with Effie and getting attacked on the road. And one of the items was a crow. So uh, I guess we can pick it up from there uh, because yeah, the crow is, is kind of like a looking scouting so, device, right? Yeah, it's a raven. Um, a raven, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you're then, gonna have to make me get out my... Oh then, no, I think I put it in your... Uh... And then Kess is our ranger, right? Or is it Taze? Yes. Yes? Kess. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, so your raven can become a raven, for, your statuette of a raven can become a raven for up to 12 hours. Um, once it has been used, it can't be used again until two days have passed. While in raven form, the figurine allows it to cast an animal messenger on it. Animal messenger. But you have to activate it with the command word, which I was very creative with. Nevar Revless. Configure out. Okay. So Flanders is never going to remember that. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> luckily, Mofimba, the uh, um, uh, Effie's mom, wrote it down for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so long as you can read. Which I can barely do. Right, right, right. Oh. <laughs> then you should be fine. Okay. Um, I have like three books in front of me, so hold on a second. Yeah. Um, and, and actually, I I must apologize. Well, how about you guys uh, chat and catch up because I need to run to uh, see to some things that will just Im go. Impede concentration. Jesus. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> so animal messenger um by means of this spell you can you use an animal to deliver a message um i don't it i don't think that it can you can use it to act as a spy you can only use it to act as a messenger 
All right. So, um, but is there anything anybody else wants to do or try? Um, I don't think so. We looted, um, I don't really think I need to search the clearing or anything. We took care of the things. Yeah. Um, the, uh, by the way, Kess, um, you're starting to feel the, the, um, sort of message in your mind sort of dissipate. If you feel like you can do your own thing now. Hmm. So, just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what's the date? Hold on. I'm sorry. I heard audio might be for Andy might be weird. Uh. Yeah, um, let's see. So, I don't know if Andy's still with us, but, um, so, let's see. I've got a bazillion of things open. Um, so, do you guys, so you, Pam, you said that you, um, yeah, oh, Andy's okay. Wi-Fi got weird. Um, uh, you said that you wanted to check the clearing. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, while we're waiting, okay. um, nobody really got hurt too badly, did they? Um, how are uh, you guys on the points then? I'm the only one that got hurt and I'm still short by four points to maximum health so it's not i'm i'm injured but it's a paper cut basically yeah you're, <laughs> you're probably fine yeah unless those well points. why don't we just why don't we just keep moving then okay okay this map is totally not to scale but um <laughs> so um it's maybe about um Five more hours journey to to the lake. Um, was there anything you guys wanted to talk about on the way there, or um, just? Um, <clears throat> I I don't really have anything important to say that I can think of. Um, I kind of want to check with Kaz and make sure he still wants to come with us. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I got nothing. Okay. Um, by the way, um, for the purposes of having lost a player, um, Mike, uh, we are retconning as having stayed behind in the, in the town as they are no longer playing with us. And to make uh, things easier so I'm not like playing a character for a while until there's a good um, place to 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 let them go so but there could have been a real dramatic death though well just in case they want to come back oh okay that makes <laughs> sense <laughs> <laughs> okay so you, you guys just want to head off to the to the um, lake, yeah, relatively in silence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, it takes a few hours, and it's about um, dusk when you when you um, can see the lake. Um, it's blue and shimmering, and the sun is shining um, very nicely. You do hear birds again. Um, you do hear animals rustling and you know the general noise of being in nature um as you approach the lake you see a small cluster of buildings close to the shore um and uh let me bring that up um, there we go Ooh. merlocks no <laughs> so um <laughs> There's a, 
a small cluster of buildings. Um, if there were more buildings and people, one might call it a village, but as you get closer, you get the sense that this is just a small gathering of relatively isolated people. And um, Effie pipes up and says, yeah, th those over there, those are the fishers. It's uh, just a couple of families, but they're all, they're all fisher people. You know, not to be confused with fish people, just men and women. <laughs> fish monsters. Right. They're, they're, they, they're people who fish in the lake for a living. Uh, we invited them into Fell to be part of our village, but I think they like li being alone out here. Um, sometimes they come south to trade their fish for other supplies. Or we see them when villagers come up to the lake in the summers. Sometimes we vacation up here for a few days. Um, but mostly they keep to themselves. I wonder if they would like to talk to us about fish people. They yeah, cook. they might have seen something. Mm -hmm. They're, they're not, they're, they're a little weird as some people who, who like to keep to themselves are. So, but, but, you know, maybe they're, they're feeling friendly. When I was a, a, Becoming a paladin, I was alone for four years, all by myself. It doesn't show at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, is does anyone here like people? <laughs> no. <laughs> we all hate you. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wow. Um... <laughs> Well, I figure we could send maybe the friendliest person over there to talk to them. Basic volunteers. I'll go talk to them. Okay. Um, so as you get closer to this little cluster of buildings, um, you see that the houses are mostly log cabins. They're weathered and worn, um, though not quite at the point where you would call them ramshackle. Um, the only person you see right now is an old, withered man who looks as if his skin was made of crumpled paper. <laughs> he sits out on, he's sitting out on a rocking chair on his porch, puffing away at a very long pipe in his mouth. Um, he does spot you, um, but when he does, uh, all he does is um, grunt loudly. Um, though you're not actually sure if it was a grunt or a cough, because he starts hacking afterwards and little clouds of smoke blow out of him with every cough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that contagious? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess Basic approaches this man and waits for him to stop coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, he says, hello, um, how are you today? Oh, we're all right. I've heard of some people going missing and that something about fish people. Would you know anything about that? Fish people? Uh... What, what kind of fish people? As in people who are fish. Mm. Uh, people going missing where? In the town of Fell. Who are you people? We're travelers seeking to learn what's going on about the missing people, and I was wondering if you could give us some information, if you know anything. Uh, well, you you see things in the dark when you're out on the lake alone. Things look like fish, but they're we not fish. Sometimes, uh, 
you want to leave them alone. They're, you do by, right by them. They, you, they do right by you. They leave you alone. Oh, that's how it's been for us. Mm-hmm. Have there not been any uh, missing people among your little village here? We've done right by them. We've done... Mm. What do you mean by right by them? They want things from us. What things? He sort of shakes his head and continues smoking his pipe. You're all strangers here. You think you can get them. Hmm. We just want to know what's going on. He's sort of looking around. And he seems, well, how about you do an insight check? Okay. Um, let me just try to remember how to do that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, um, um. It's a uh, roll a d20 and add your wisdom modifier and proficiency if you're a proficient in insight. I don't think you are, yeah. though. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, no, okay. Wisdom? Okay. Anybody else can do an, wins- uh, an insight check if you want to. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to. I'll do one, too. Oof, 11. Okay. 15. I got 15. I'm dumb, but I'm kind of insightful and wise. <laughs> Roll a d20. Uh, it's 20. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Natural 20! Nice. I got a 20. Nice. And I have high wisdom, and I think I actually might have proficiency in uh, insight. Yeah, well, um... Paladins are wisdomy people, so it makes sense. <laughs> um, so those who got fifteen, I think that was uh, Cassim Bissig. Bissig. <clears throat> um, I got nineteen. You got a nineteen. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so um, I'm the clueless one. <laughs> <laughs> Taze is just sort of looking out at the I'm water. Like, la la la! Ooh, butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> um so um Visig you you notice that he's he's very it looks like he's he there's something that he wants to say but he's very reluctant to say it um uh Kess and Flanders um he looks something about his eyes as he's smoking the pipe and just sort of how quickly he's puffing at the pipe, you get the very strong sense that he's scared. He is genuinely scared to speak or tell things about you, but he wants to. Mm. Well, we would like to help. Um... And whatever you think you can tell us that might be able to help us, I think we could be able to help our friends at Fell and also help you. He's sort of... He's rocking back and forth on um, on the, his uh, rocking chair and... Suddenly he gets up and beckons to you, you, uh, you all to um, join him around the corner um, between the houses. Not inside the houses, but um, in the space um, in between the houses. That's not quite so visible to, you know, it's not so open. Alleyways. Yeah. So, um, do you guys follow? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay. So... 
he he s- sort of hunches his back up against a, a a wall and looks around and says, "We give we give them offerings. It's uh, they they're." Offerings? We have we have food. They 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 burrowed up whiles back. They I don't know how long ago, but they they asked. There's there's a dwarf in our community. He he speaks under common. He said he said that. If we didn't give them what they wanted, they would take some of us, or all of us, eventually. Mm. We were a small, we, we, we were doing just fine up until a couple months ago, and they just, the fish don't stop biting back. Not usually. What was it they wanted? Food first. They, they live in the deep, I think. They wanted food. Then if we, we give them most of our store's food. And you can see now that you're closer up to him that he does look like he's a little on the skinny side. He's, you know, not starving but he's he's had a few spare meals or, um meals that just didn't fill up the bones um and he's, he says they then i saw them creeping up out of the lake at night a few weeks ago we hid in our beds we didn't we didn't want to know what was happening we just Closed the doors, locked them. Never had to lock the doors before. I just... I just want it all to stop. So, since you're a fisherman, do you think there's a way... uh, If you have people who are willing to fight, that maybe we could use some sort of bait... Bait? I don't know. They they have their ways of coming and going. I don't know if... We give them some of our food. Maybe they're eating things of their own. They seem to be doing pretty well for themselves now. I... I don't know. If they were taking people, where do you think they would take them? Out into the lake. Into the lake. I I don't know where they're coming and going. Oh. I heard some noises a few nights back. I, they didn't sound like drowning. So they might still be alive for us to rescue. I don't know. I don't know nothing about nothing. Okay. Uh, it's hard for me to formulate a plan. Does anyone <laughs> have any ideas? <laughs> hmm. Not really, um, but I, I have to say you've given us a lot more information than we had before, so you know more than you think you do, and we appreciate it. He grunts again. He's like, mm. You really going out? Going to take care of him? Yeah, we would. I would like to anyway. Well, we yes. promised definitely we would. So if we wanted to, to face these fish monsters. Is there a place we should wait, or should we take a boat out at night? Got a rowboat you can use. Moored up by the dock. You're welcome to use it. 
Okay. Thank you. Need anything else? Um. I, I've got some things. If you're gonna be out, going out, out there, I'll give you whatever. Just. It's gotta stop. If we're, go if yeah. we're gonna go at night, we're gonna need some kind of light source, I think. Got some torches, torches. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then we, it looks like you don't really have a lot of food, and I think we have, if we're going to try baiting the fish monsters, I think we have enough food that we should be able to, to trick them ourselves. <laughs> Pim Pim doesn't like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, it's not that we don't have enough food. We get plenty of food from the the from the lake from our own small farms but they take it they take as much as they can get where do you put it <sighs> they put it out on the docks they we leave it there at night it's gone by morning so maybe we should all what time is it it's um six hours past noon <laughs> if so you we know have a so much about time <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we can maybe we can rest and then so that way we can leave some food on the dock and stay awake all night and see if we can't get the monsters. Good idea. I think, yeah, I think it's worth a try. Okay. Bear in mind, I'm really dumb. So, I mean, if anyone has better ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Sure. One last question. Um, is, are there any other places where they also offer food? fish people. Do you know anyone else who does this? We're the only people around the, this part. I don't know if there are other settlements across the lake. It's a big lake. Can't even see it. See land past the horizon most times. Unless you're far out into the lake. Uh, I don't know of anybody else who's... I don't know about people being taken. I didn't, I didn't say, see anything about, like I said, I, I, me and the wife, we hunkered down. We, and the barn cat. <laughs> <laughs> barn cat. <laughs> yeah, has so much to say about it. Someone's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants belly scratches. <laughs> He's mad that he, it's not all about him. Um, <laughs> I need petting. <laughs> um, Could we leave a cat on the dock and maybe... I want to pet the kitty. <laughs> <laughs> There's a... Do fish monsters eat cats? <laughs> no! <laughs> That's my cat. cat's gone missing. <laughs> haven't heard of any cats gone missing. <laughs> Wish they'd take this one. <laughs> you see uh, a big, fluffy, um, loud, striped gray cat flounce by. <laughs> Cameo. <laughs> Uh, but you, uh, you, you could put things out on the dock. I don't know if they'll take it. Sometimes we, we try to keep things, keep what we can to ourselves. It's not every day, but sometimes we hear the water splashing more than waves would. Does, <clears throat> does 
My idea sounds like a good one to you. To me? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I don't. Uh, they could take it. I. Uh, you're. You're bound to draw out a, maybe one or two of them. Maybe I don't know. Okay. You, you can also, like I said, the, take out the boat when you want to, whether it's tonight or tomorrow morning. Go see what's out on the lake. We we don't go t out as far as we used to. Not okay. since. Well, this seems like a good first try. And if we don't find anything, if nothing happens, then we'll do the boat thing. Oh. Yeah, let's try this because I've never been on a boat before and I'm not really sure I'm ready to try. <laughs> Fair no. enough. I'd like to stay on land. My little town didn't have any water at either so well there was a stream there nearby. was a stream but i i so i used to make paper boats and <laughs> put them in the stream oh. <laughs> but i never actually be, have been in a boat before that's adorable <laughs> i was 19 i was little <laughs> 19 19 <laughs> 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 so what do we what do we do while we wait um well oh. since since I have this paper cut I think I want to take a nap just <laughs> just for it to heal up a little bit um so um while you're talking about this the guy wanders off and goes to get um the torches um he hands you three torches um it's basically just it's a rough torch just um basically a a s wide stick that's wrapped with some cloth and oiled at the end um and uh and he holds out a a couple of vials um for somebody to take and says we had these saved up just in case there was an attack, but if you're going out, going to attack them, maybe get rid of them. They, they're better off with you. Healing potions. Um, I'll take one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Uh, okay, so Taze is getting one, and then. Um, oh, Cass sounds. Something's happening. Something's happening with Cass. <laughs> it sounds like he's um, he's being eaten by a muffle monster. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Those barn cats. Oh no. Right now. Uh, I can't really. We can't really hear you, Andy. Um, can you hear me right now? Uh, a little better. That sounds a lot okay. better. A little better. Um, That's better, yeah. Okay. So I just have to hold my phone right in front of my face this entire time now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Aww. Sometimes, <clears throat> do you have any, um, like, headphones, uh, microphone headphones or anything like that? No. Oh, okay. I should maybe in the... Okay. Um, um. Okay. So. Um. Sir, well, well, you're still here. Uh, have you got any idea why, um, the fish people have been taking so much? I mean, they've taken, um, so much of your food, and now they're taking people. It, uh, excuse the pun, but, uh, it seems like something <laughs> Still pretty choppy. Yeah. It now sounds, sounds like, like now. Uh, auto -tune. in the future, yeah. there's this thing called auto-tuning. <laughs> it kind of sounds like. Oh no. Um, but I kind of got the gist of it. Um. 
basically that you're asking if uh, why they're the fish people are taking so much um and he's he he says I only see a few of them at a time uh, I see just shadows of them beyond that first time that we t talked to them that they attacked us threatened us they it, I'm oh, guessing just lost. uh oh oh no uh oh what uh Andy got to Andy's gone oh, no. um so he says um well it's there I'm guessing there's more there's lots more of them I I don't know how many more than just the one or two I see at a time I don't know they I know fish and monsters all look alike to me but the the fish they're different fish so. that, that's actually a makes sense because if they're taking a lot, I wonder if there's like 20 of the fish monsters and then there's only four of us. Five. Five. Five of us. <laughs> Math. <laughs> <laughs> Not as strong safe. <laughs> Even worse than reading. <laughs> so, well, that's why I think it'll be good to try and just lure out a few of them. Maybe we can talk to them if they if they communicate, which they seem to have done already. Oh, we can that. talk to them. Hey, welcome back. Yeah. Um, Hello. And we can talk to them and try and find out what they're doing, how many they are, what they want. Do any of us speak under common or? I do. Oh, oh well, there oh. we go. Great. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is sounding like a good plan. <laughs> Gotta warn you guys. When my dwarf friend, he, Gareth, he, uh, when he talked to them, they don't, they don't seem all there. Okay. All there. What does that mean? They... They're, they don't, they seem like they've gone mad, or they've, they've always been mad. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> there was a lot of gibbering. <laughs> even, I don't understand under common, but, but even I could tell there was a lot of Repeated words, repeated mm. sounds. I guess that could make sense. I mean, if you've never seen them before, maybe they're just a crazy pack. A crazy pack. I don't know. I don't know. Or something's making them crazy. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> you might be giving the dungeon master ideas. <laughs> like oh. I said, bad idea. <laughs> I've got ideas already, you guys. <laughs> don't you worry. I've been I was feeling a little weird bit earlier today. I'm fine now, but there's something odd. What's going on? Well, uh, I, I, bleh, I know how to speak. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, oddly, I was feeling like we shouldn't be investigating, like we shouldn't be here, but now, now that I'm here, um, 
I really want to figure out what's going on, because whatever affected me must be affecting other people, too. And you speak under common, so even if they are gibbering, maybe we could find out something. In amongst all the gibbering, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're, you're, you know, sticking it out with us, Kess. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, I think until nighttime... Like I said, I, I'm just a little bit injured. I think I'm going to spend the rest of my evening taking a nap. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if you, if all of you want to run around and investigate and stuff like that, but investigating and learning and reading and math sounds <laughs> so exhausting to me. So I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to curl up if, if Mr. Fisher... What's, what's your name, sir? Oh, just, just call me Edmund. Edmund, can I just sit right here and fall asleep? <laughs> on my porch? <laughs> on your porch, on this nice rocking chair of yours. I, I, I'd like to sit back down on my rocking chair. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, where can we can I find rest? somewhere else. Is there a place where I can rest my head? Just down by the dock, if you want. That sounds good to me. If you're waiting Next to for the their, water. Yeah. You're waiting for them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Flanders walks over to the dock and sits down and curls up and kind of assumes a meditation pose and his eyes start to stare off into the distance and uh, it's clear to everybody in the audience that uh, Flanders is no longer there. <laughs> in the audience. <laughs> Our viewing He's audience. no longer with us. <laughs> Tay's like, Tay's like most, moves her hand in front of his eyes a couple times to see if he reacts at all. <laughs> <clears throat> Does he? Wow. That's a good trick. <laughs> I wish I could fall asleep that fast. Me it's too. Not how meditation works, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Basic um, comments. <laughs> um. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you all want to do? Um, well, we could have some dinner while we wait. Okay. Maybe. Um, hey, uh, Flanders, what's your, um, <laughs> what's your, uh, hit dice? My hit dice? Yeah. I'm sure you don't know it off the top of your head. I do not. <coughs> um, here, roll, roll a d10. So, no. to see if, because I'm counting a nap as a short rest. Roll a d10. It's four. Four. Oh, just as much as you needed exactly. then. Exactly. <laughs> right on the money. <laughs> See? Siri's my friend today so far. So far. Um, so, um, you, you guys settle down for dinner? Mm -hmm. um, do yeah. Do you want to look out in the area at all? Or, um, there's, um, just to describe, because Sam can't see the map, um, there's a, the forested area had extended up from the south. Um, there's still uh, some trees uh, on the east side and the sort of southwest side of the uh, of the lake um, on the side that you're you're on, and the um, river that you had followed up had. Um, come up and uh in is off to the um to the west so um just just west of the small um commune that you found um i think i want to walk along the shore a little bit and see if i can see any more any of those marks the the tracks that 
uh, the fish monsters supposedly leave. Okay. Uh, do an investigation check. Okay. Investigation. <laughs> 11 <laughs> seems to be I'm... your number today. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Just to interrupt, too. I mean, I, I don't want to discourage anybody from doing anything that they feel is um, com most comfortable to them. Um, but I did want to mention that we are recording the video from uh, from Roll20. So if you do know how to use Roll20, um, just to be aware, we are going to sync the audio with the video. So that way, when we post it on YouTube, people can kind of see like what's going on with rolling and stuff like that. So again, okay. I mean, feel feel free to roll your own dice, but... You know if that's what makes you know if that's what you're most comfortable with but um if you think that roll 20 might be kind of fun or cool or easier to use uh you know just be aware all right there you go i'm totally lost in how to use the roll 20 rolling thing um, i'll try if you want to i you know it's it once you get used to how it works it's uh it gets a little bit easier um, it's a little mm -hmm. tricky at first, but basically, whatever you want to roll, you just click on it in your um, in your character sheet. Okay. Okay. I have a kitty on me. Nope. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh. I heard <laughs> fish monsters like to eat those. Yeah, <sighs> this one's not getting anywhere near them. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> so, um. You take a look around. Um, it takes you the better part of a um, half hour, but you do manage to see. You, you've you passed over it a couple times, but then you're like, oh, here are some tracks. How did I miss when them And I realize before? what I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you do see some sort of web-footed, clawed, um, uh, bipedal sort of um, tracks. Just okay, a couple um, prints in the shore. Uh, are they anywhere near the dock? They're off. They're uh, they're off the to the side of the um, the dock. About some just um, to the left of it, like right okay. around. If you're looking at the map, um, right around there. All right, so we won't have to look too far if they're coming ashore there also. Yeah. Okay. Um, did anybody else want to look around, or are you guys going to eat now? Um, <laughs> yeah, Basic wants to explore the little three-house village. Okay. Um... You you wander around. Um, or were you looking for anything in particular, or did you want to just just take a look? Just take a look. If there's any people nearby, he says hi. Uh, okay. Um, there's um, you do um, you see some people sort of peering out um, from behind curtains in the windows, but um. And then you do spot the dwarf, um, Gareth, that um, that Edmund had mentioned. Um, he's uh, he's just grabbing some firewood, and um, when you sort of wave hi, he he sort of does an uncertain wave as well, and then just sort of ducks back into the house. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> you're, when you're looking around, you know, there, the, um, it, it looks like the town, the, well, town or village, but it's, you know, the buildings look pretty, um, worn. It, it like, they could use some patching up, um, and it has kind of a, the, their community has a sort of a dour feel to it. Like there's some... You can tell that for the past couple of months, um, things aren't kept up as maybe as well as it should be for people who are so self-sufficient. Um, 
and but there are you know small farms um mostly it looks like it's just enough for for each family um or each household to um to be able to sustain themselves okay <coughs> Kevin player is a bit congested right now oh <laughs> um um Um, was there something you were going to say? Oh, um, no, well, I was just, um, so you guys settled to dinner, or was there anything else? Um, Kess also, uh, kind of wanders around, like, the three house village a bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe looking for the cat. A little. <laughs> <laughs> Do an investigation check. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. So, uh, you do find him. He's, um, he's by, um, one of the the stacks of um, firewood, and he's sort of flouncing around. But when he notices that you're you're paying attention to him, he sort of gives comes up and gives you a tentative sniff, and then kind of hesitantly rubs up against your leg. <laughs> um. Chef pets him. <laughs> <laughs> he chomps on your hand a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Nom nom. Because he's a butthole like that. <laughs> this this Kessler's hit points. <laughs> no, it's, it's not enough to draw blood. <laughs> it just sort of smarts a little. <laughs> um so you guys settled to dinner then yeah, yeah. okay mm -hmm. um it's getting Reactions. um dark in earnest now um there's uh and um so it and is flanders getting up for waking up for dinner <clears throat> Fl Flanders, excuse me. Flanders is sound asleep, but as you guys start preparing your meals and pulling out things like meats and various other things, um, you notice that his nose is twitching furtively. <laughs> and his eyes become increasingly less glassy until he gives a little twitch. Oh, I, I smell, I smell some food. Oh, I think I'm hungry. <laughs> and then he kind of stands up and moseys over to everybody and sits down. Does he prepare his own food? He takes his pack um, and he pulls out some of the uh, food stuffs that he has in there. Okay. And everyone surreptitiously notices him popping some, t some wrapping, unwrapping some foil from around a uh, a chocolate colored ball that he <laughs> that he then pops into his mouth. Mm. Those paladins and their chocolate. Uh, <laughs> that must be some of that chocolate I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> um. Do you guys leave anything for the uh, the fish monsters? Um, yes. Maybe a piece of jerky. Um, what sorts of? Where's the old man? He's back in the village. Where's Edmund? <laughs> he went. <laughs> he's he he's no longer outside his house. How much food do you think we should? leave on the dock that you think would be 
something that a fish monsters or fish monsters might really want. Um, it'd be enough that it attracts them and it takes them a little while to eat instead of just putting it in their mouth and going back in the water. You can't see it. Okay. Dungeon Master, how much food do we have in our inventory? Uh, that would be in your inventory. Um, let's see. Which window? Um, in your starting packs, it should have, say, how much. It just says a priest pack. Let's see. Yeah, mine just says burglar's pack. Um. Mine says 10 days of ration. That's pretty nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. It just says Explorer's Pack in mine. Yeah, uh, mine is the Explorer's Pack and it has 10 days of rations. Oh. So I, I then write probably. Down. I'll do. Uh, Priest Pack has only two days of rations. Wow. Um, wow. Explorer's Pack, 10 days of rations. Burglar's pack has five days of rations. I think isn't Jeez. my is mine a burglar's pack? Yours is a priest's pack. A priest's pack. So I have two days. Yeah. Oh man, I can eat two days in one. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the sake Save of it. this, we'll say it's two days rations for you. <laughs> you know how much you eat. It's two days enough for you. So two days for me, ten days for Cass. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Okay, so did it... Um, okay, so... It seems like we all have... Kind of a lot of food between, between the five of us. Um, so... Should we maybe... Uh, how much do you think we should put out then? Well, I'll I'll chip in a day's worth of rations. I'm I, I can just go back home if, whenever I need food or something. Okay, and I I'll um, put out a day because I can always hunt for food. Mm. I'll put in a day's worth of rations as well. I can just ration the rest of the rations. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll put one out because I can always refill when we go back to the village. Cool. I'll I'll put in a day. Okay. I can hunt more food All another right. time. So five days <laughs> rations. Sorry. What are you doing? Um. So you you pile up the food on the um, dock, um, and continue your meal. Um, What do you want to do? Eat? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> so... Wait around, or, yeah, put the bait. So now that yeah. we have this food out, um... So, uh... Did anyone do any investigating while I was sleeping? Um, yeah, I found some what looked like tracks near the dock. Um, where they might be coming out of the water as well, but it looks like it's right by the dock, so if they come out there instead, we should still see them. Okay, so did we did did we all want to sit by the dock here and continue eating, or or after we're done eating, did we want like somebody to sit by the tracks and some people to sit by the dock, or? Yeah, I think it'd be better if we split up. That way the fish people don't suspect anything. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Oh, I have a tinderbox. All right. I want to make sure. I'm going to hang on to one of the torches, but I'm not going to light it until uh, after the fish people come out, if they do come out of the water, because I don't want them to be uh, warned off of, you know, the fact that we're there. Ooh. So. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I'll, I'll, I'll go with, I'll go with, I'll go with Flanders, because I'm small and he's big. Okay. And, and since I don't know much about water and docks and things like that, I really like, like, 
things that I can follow easily. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go by the tracks after dinner. Okay. Um. Um, I think I'm going to go to stay just on the side of the dock, like closest to the, uh, um, the shore. Okay. I'm going to... to set up the strategic map. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are killing me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay. Uh... Okay, so, um, you, um, you s s wait after dinner, um, you do you light the torches, or? Um, not yet. I want to see, like, is there any kind of light coming at all from the village, or from the houses? Um, there is for a while, but, um... Once the hour starts getting um, really late, um, uh, you it, you start seeing some of the lights start to blink out, you know, one by one. Okay. It looks like mm -hmm. um, people are heading off to sleep. Um, I'm a human and I don't have night vision. Um, Effie, can you see in the dark? Um. I actually forget if the halflings can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can. Who else is it? Is it just... I can. I'm sorry. Who's, I can. Who's with me? Is Missing just... can. Yes, can. So who's who's by the docks and who's by... So I'm by the tracks and Effie's by the tracks. Who else is by the... By the track? And then Taze um. is closer to the docks. Yeah. I guess that's... Actually, yeah, I don't need a torch. I'm I'm not gonna go without. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think Effie can see in the dark. Okay, so if it's just me and Effie by the tracks, then I think we'll. I mean, I think we'll have to light a torch. Oh, um, I didn't get to say where I was, so, um, Kess will be by the tracks with Effie and Flanders. Okay. Okay. Can Kess see in the dark? Yes. Okay. Half elves can see in the dark. Yay! And I guess Bissig will just stay nearer to the docks. Okay, great. He also can see in the dark. Okay. All right, so none of us have to light our torches. Great. <laughs> um. So, you wait several hours. Um. The. Uh, um and and then you start hearing some splashing um out in the the middle of the lake it's faint but um you do start hearing some signs of something out there that doesn't sound exactly um doesn't sound like like nor like the the sort of lapping of water that you've been hearing um previously um let's see hold on a second um all right i'm trying to make a quick map here because this was not where i was anticipating things um <laughs> You guys are spoiling everything. No, where, I'm just kidding. Where did you think we were going to be? <laughs> you were supposed to be back in fell. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> very makeshift lake here. Hold on a second. <laughs> I hate you all. No. Rocks fall, everybody dies. <laughs> You're dying now. Okay. The following message is brought to you by your emergency service provider. Uh, um, Beep! So. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I am moving you guys here, and this is my very terrible makeshift map that I'm going to reveal in just a second. I turned up our background speakers in anticipation of a battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's a dock. There's some random lines. You're going to have to excuse those because I made this on the fly while I was talking. Um, and the making of things is not so great. Um, but uh, you do start hearing some splashing coming forward. Um, there's uh, and. Um, Everybody who can see in the dark, make a perception check. Okay. Oh, I you're... quit. <laughs> My rolls are th suck tonight. Oh, no. Was it an 11? No, it was worse. No, it was a 5. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 23. Ooh. Holy cow. Oh, great. Oh, well uh, so can Kess see for both Taze and? <laughs> One second. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, my... It just refreshed on me. So let me just... Um, I got a 12... Okay. I don't know what to don't know what to add. Wait. Okay. Um. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I can add your. Aha! I figured it out. Hmm. I figured out how to add people to. So here's Flanders and Effie oh. and Cass. <laughs> and Bissig and Taze. Oops. That stays there. Yay. So Taze, <clears throat> so we were, Christine and I were joking the other day that um, Fla one of K Flanders' character traits is forgetting people's names, but uh -huh. that's strate strategically placed in there because I'm terrible at remembering names. <laughs> um, so, but that also means that I'm really bad at remembering characteristics. So Taze is a half half elf too. Uh -huh. And then Kess is a half elf as well. Uh huh. And then uh, Bissig is a half orc. Yep. Okay. And then Effie is a halfling. Yes. Okay, so we have two half elves, a half orc, and a halfling. Yep. And you're the only one who's. <laughs> and I'm you're, only you're not. Two. You're not half anything. And I don't know why you're. The two biggest people in your party have the tiniest uh, tokens, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um, and so, okay, so half elves and orcs can see in the dark. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and then halflings and humans can't. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have to read the book. That's what it comes down to. I, I really need to read the book. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, Taze, that's way loud. <laughs> um, Taze is the person to see the, um, the fish monster first. And, um, really? <laughs> no. Kes. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> 
Um. Oh. <gasps> it's the fish monster. Which is... Uh, oh. Oh. Um, you, so... You can speak under common. It's a purplish creature. Um, and with very big eyes, um, glassy, like a fish's eyes would be. Um, and it's definitely, it looks kind of like if you had sort of a rotund person, but with a fish's head sort of slapped on top of it. Um, he's <laughs> quite muscular. Um, he has webbed feet and, um, is dressed in sort of, um, like just random pieces of hide and cloth, um, and has, um, bones and teeth dangling from a necklace around his neck. Um, oh. and he's coming up out of the water, um, towards the dock. Um, he's, he has with him on his back a bag and he is coming towards the dock and um, as he's going there he's starts and as he reaches the the offering that you've left there he starts pulling in, them into the bag all, all the foodstuffs oh I mm. heard Gus say that he saw a monster. I'm going to light my torch. Okay. Um, um, we should try and grab him. Don't kill. Great. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, who's going to try to grab him? Bissig. Okay, Bissig. Um, roll an attack. This is going to be a grapple. If I know how to do a grapple. <laughs> this should oh, be okay. That's an apple that has been genetically <laughs> crossbred with a grape. That's grapeple. <laughs> grapeple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh uh So adding that up is 16. Oh, nice. Okay, great. So that hits. Um, so you grab at him and let me see if he gets out of it. I'll do it with, uh, now roll 20 is hard with the, just rolling dice. So let's see. Um, where's my D20? I'm like dropping dice all over the place. I have so many books and things in front of me right now. Um, <laughs> oh, he totally fails. Um, so he's he tries to break free of you, and he is he is struggling and not doing anything against you. Um, and he is um, he cannot go anywhere. Perfect. Great. Okay, so and we he, need our undercommon speaker. He's sort of trying to wiggle out, but, um, and he's, he's kind of, he's pretty slippery. So you, um, you're, you're having, he is difficult to handle, um, but, uh, you're holding him for now. Um, uh, and he's sort of snarling and, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't really like this guy. He smells kind of funny. So even though, and he looks really slippery. So even though we have him captured and and we're gonna talk to him, I'm going to draw my both of my hammers just in case. Okay. Cass rushes over yeah. and he has a rope in his pack. Okay. To tie the dude up. Okay. Um, let's see what you're screaming. Okay. Um, 
the uh so uh do you does it, what do you want to ask him um stop moving <laughs> <laughs> um No, the dungeon master uh, has to do a fishy voice. <laughs> <laughs> Only Cus can talk to him, so. <laughs> what if you have to do fishy voices? <laughs> I don't know what to do for an undercommon type voice, so I'm gonna just not do an accent here. Yeah, do you just say what. Sh- Say whatever it is that you're saying to him in Undercommon, but in English. Okay. <laughs> um, calm down. We're not going to hurt you as long as you answer our questions. You say that. I don't think you're, I don't think you're going to. Uh, you tie me up. You tie me <laughs> <laughs> hmm. hmm. I. I take one of my short swords and. Um, and I say, um, look, we want. We, if we can, we'd like to settle this non violent violently, but if you don't, um, if you don't comply, we'll just be forced to use force on you. And I've got my daggers out too, just, you know, for intimidation purposes. Um, okay, well, uh, cast roll intimidation with advantage since, uh, um, Taze is behind you, sort of helping out. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna try roll 20 because I fa- found out that my actual physical dice have a bubble in it, so. Oh no! Oh, no. Um, well, I don't have that, um, thing. Um... Um... And what do I do for um, advantage? You, you roll twice. And okay. then take the higher of the two rolls. Okay. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well. I'll oh, you add your uh, intimidation. Better than five. M- uh, modifier. Um, I don't have the... Um, proficiency. Okay, so let me look at your character sheet. It's just, it's one, so 11. <laughs> 11 he... is the number of the night. <laughs> <laughs> just all 11s. Um, yeah. He sort of laughs and he's like, <laughs> do poop, poop, kill you all. I'll kill you all. I want to know where the people of Fell are. Fell people fall apart. <laughs> are they? Are they? Uh, I think I'm gonna brush your nose with one of my hammers, and do some intimidation of my own. Ooh. Roll a d20. Four! <laughs> oh. And this is where Siri betrays me. More, more oh laughter. <laughs> he just sort of looks at your your war hammer and says, Pretties bring food. Food for pretties. Pretties are food. <laughs> All right, well, why don't we try that? Um, I'll take some of the rations out of the pile and offer it to him. Um, see if that maybe loosens his tongue a little bit. He sort of sneers at it and, mind you, 
Kess is the only one who understands his crazy ramblings to you. It all just sounds like cackling and blah, blah, blah. Um, but um, he looks at the food and just sort of <laughs> sniffs and turns his nose up at it. He wanted it a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Offerings for blip dual poop. Offerings, offerings. <laughs> Can Bissing try to intimidate him? Sure. Um, you get advantage since you're, you know, orky. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, first roll was a nine. And second one, please. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. um, but, are... but I have I have plus two intimidation. It's so still 11. <laughs> eleven. Eleven. And because you keep trying, he's still he's just completely unfazed by all of this. Um, <laughs> we're just all three trying to look scary and. <laughs> Just going. <laughs> <laughs> Every, these are we want to. These are your people that he might be holding. I don't, know, I don't know what to do. Um, um. Let's see. Um. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, is he? Oh, he is humanoid. All right. So. Effie is try is going to try to cast Charm Person. Ooh. Um, oh. Let's see. I'm gonna do. He's so he has to make a Wisdom saving throw. Uh, with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it and you did attack him for grapple so um he he's uh that was a 10 so he, he does not uh shrug off her uh her spell and um he is uh he starts nodding to Effie er, er, but um and that's one thing um she says Hold on, I don't know how this is going to work if I can't understand or speak under common. Uh, oh, I can comprehend languages. And, let's see. Um, oh, she can understand, but she cannot speak it. So, um... Well, how about this? Cass, um, you tell him that I want to know that I'm his dear friend and mm -hmm. I want to know what happened to the people of Bell. Okay. Um, so I say to the fish person dude, um, don't you remember Effie? She's awfully worried about her friends from Fell. Won't you tell her, um... Eh. I know English. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you tell her what you've been doing to them? She'll be very mad at you if you don't. <laughs> offerings. Offerings for blip doodle poop Wants the vessel. Wants the vessel. The vessel. What's the vessel? The vessel is shiny thing for Blibdul Poop. Who is that? 
<laughs> Blim Toom Poom is the sea mother, the sea mother, the mother of all the waters and and all the fish. Hmm. So the food is for her. So is is Kess translating this all for us? Uh, yes. Oh, I, I kind of remember. I, uh, I know I'm not very good with names or anything, but, but I seem to. There, didn't we have a note or something about the vessel? Or we did. And and I still have it, and it's in common, and it says the vessel is in fell. Oh. So maybe that's why they're trying to get people. Yeah, good job. Sorry. <laughs> what what do you think that means? Offerings to a sea mother? A sea mother. It sounds bad. Well. Oh. Uh, I want to go back to Blib Doob Poop to serve Blib Doob Poop. Yeah. Oh, friend, let go. Food for people. Food for the Kuatoa. Kuatoa? That's a new thing. Where are the people that uh, fell? In. Um. Do you ask this, Kess? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, the audio got a little choppy, so. Oh, Flanders had uh, asked. Flanders had asked, um, where are the people of Bell? Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. Kess translates that. Um. Does my yeah. friend want to know? Yes, um, she's, she wants to know, and we're all here because she, we are all also very good friends of her, so if, if you answer us, it would make her very happy. Oh, they're back there. I mean, he would point, but he looks over towards the lake. Over there, we took them. We took them into a hidey hole. Yeah. <laughs> For blib doodle poop, the cool towel. We'll eat them if they're not the vessel. Can you, mm. can he guard? Cass is very worried. <laughs> can he guard us yeah, me there? Too. Um. Let me see how long this spell lasts. Oh, <laughs> it lasts an hour. So, oh, good. Then we're okay. Um, uh, are any of the people of Fell still alive? Oh. <laughs> What's living? What's dying? Yeah. Oh, they're yeah, tasty well. morsels for Kuoto. Oh that no! Was a bad question. Can, can, oh god! Can he guide us there? Um, Guiding us there into their at. lair kind of sounds like a shitty idea, but you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> um, First, Kess asks if the hidey hole is underwater. Hidey hole underwater. Entrance to hidey hole, not underwater. Hmm. Is the entrance somewhere in Kess? Oh, sorry, Kess. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. It, it fell. Kess's entrance. <laughs> it got choppy again. The entrance but is I fell. Heard that. <laughs> The entrance is there, and he 
point, he points with his head back towards the lake. Maybe, I don't know, this, I don't know if this is dumb idea, because, I don't know, people keep on telling me I'm dumb, but maybe he guides us to the entrance, and we ask him to bring his friends outside, and, and then we can save the people of Fell. Sorry. That sounds like a crazy idea. I don't know. I'm so... I don't have a lot of confidence in my ideas. But we keep going with your plan, so it's not that bad. (laughs) (laughs) It says more about us than it does about you. (laughs) (laughs) You're the only one who seems to be coming up with plans. (laughs) Well, dumb people you. come up with a lot of plans, but <laughs> don't, but but the problem with coming up with a lot of plans is that, as a dumb person, is that oftentimes they're really dumb plans. <laughs> well, better than the rest of us who have no plans. But yeah. <laughs> well, you need more confidence. I would say a dumb plan is better than no plan, but I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking um, for a bit about live bait, but that would probably be a worse plan. Yeah. <laughs> so, so maybe we take Ed, Edmund's boat, and we, and and the this fish monster takes us to this entrance, and then I the, like that idea. And mm-hmm. then the fish monster will he will do it do though? It. Um, oh, I asked the fish monster if he could take us, uh, like if we could follow him on a boat or something hmm? to the lair, the hidey okay. hole. Um, he, well, do a persuasion check, but with advantage because you're sort of speaking on Effie's behalf. Mm-hmm. Um, I have that. Um, three. <laughs> oh, it's the same <laughs> roll each time. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so he says, I'm not telling you, I'm not showing you, he pointed it to you, you get it yourself, I'm here for food. Okay, so what just happened? Kess tried to persuade, uh... The Mr. Fish Monster. Okay, so Fish Monster. Uh, can I do another intimidation? If you want, <clears throat> sure. Okay. Roll a d20. Rolling. It's 12. 12. Um, I don't know what my. I think I have a proficiency. Um, oh, crap. I am losing all my books. Um. Let's see your character sheet. You really need to remember these things. I know, I'm going to read it over. Um, that's plus two. So, okay, so 14. Uh, he looks... He looks slightly... Slightly intimidated, but not enough to convince him. <laughs> um, I tell him... Um, Effie will be really upset if you don't take us. <laughs> um, roll another persuasion check, but with disadvantage. Because <laughs> uh, he's starting to doubt how how much you're actually speaking for Effie at this point. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, 
there, eleven. <laughs> this was not a trend. Eleven. I set. This is this is the episode of elevens. <laughs> is it time for elevenses? Elevenses. Yeah. Elevenses. Yeah. <laughs> what about elevenses? <laughs> um. It's the Hobbit episode. <laughs> he says, "Leave me here." Leave me with my friend, if you like, but I, I want the food to bring back for Kuatoa. You go Kuatoa. get it yourself. Where did it, where did this fish monster point? Towards the middle of the lake. With his head, because he's tied up. <laughs> Let's untie the monster. Because yeah, we're, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Because he's okay. hypnotized already. Well, and I don't think he's going to hurt us right now. Let's ask him if he'll, if he's willing to point exactly where we're supposed to go. Because I have my hammers out, and this guy is being a jerk hole, and I'm just worried. I don't know. My hammer, my hammers are feeling itchy. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so so you guys untie him. Mm-hmm. So he sort of uh-huh. wiggles out of his ropes, and they they slough off of him pretty easily because he is very slippery. Um, and uh, he he says, "Free me, then you are my friend." And he starts gathering up the food again. Um, I ask him, um, can you point again which direction the hidey hole is? And so he, he's still busy gathering up the food, but he does point um, towards the middle of the lake and... Um, Make a perception check with advantage, anybody who wants to look. It's going to be difficult for you, Flanders, because you have no dark vision whatsoever. Right. I'll check anyway. Okay, 15. Uh, Roll with disadvantage. (gasps) Roll d20. Okay. I got a natural 20. Nice. Roll d20. Okay, 16. 16 disadvantage. Okay. Um, so, Taze, you definitely see it. You spot it right away, and you're like, oh, why didn't I ever see that before? Um, I just wasn't looking for it, I guess. (laughs) Yeah. So, you see if this will work, right? Uh, Siri, the goddess Siri, seems to be kind of friendly today. A little Mm -hmm. bit of a jerk hole, but, you know. Okay. Um, she has her moments. So you see off in the far distance, um, that would be the northwest corner of the map, um, you do see that there are two mound shapes out in the distance um, that are... And, yeah, and you should probably be able to see it all. And I will point them out to the others as well. Even though it's probably too dark to really get a good look at where they are, but that's that's what we need to aim for up over there. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, that's um, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so he, this monster, pointed to where we're supposed to go. Yeah, and Taze saw it. And Taze saw it. And, um, I know he's, he's a monster. And, (coughs) but, but I don't know. Uh, He's, he's hypnotized and he's not fully in control of himself. And I can't, I even though I have my hammers and things like that, I I just don't feel like I can t- 
take advantage of a monster. Certainly not when he's been our prisoner. So um, I think I think we can let him go. We've pretty much gotten I think anything useful that we're gonna get. Great. You don't think Out of he's them. gonna do something? I mean, well, he's... I'm not saying that he's not um, going to do something, think, but as a paladin know. and somebody who believes in Oelia and things like that, and who's kind of dumb, um, <laughs> I, I, uh, as a person, uh, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. I yeah, that. I mean, I don't feel comfortable attacking him, especially while he's still under your, your spell. I mean, that would really be heinous. Oh. oh, okay. I'm not too up for um, attacking someone hypnotized like this either, but um, aren't you guys worried he might tell the others about us? Oh, Can't you, hypno Can you hypnotize him again so he forgets this ever happened? That's not really how the spell works. He just thinks I'm his uh, friend. I I am worried, Chris. I mean, I I I do. Even though I'm dumb, I do know that that he can definitely like he's he could betray us and things like that. But but we imprisoned him and and he's hypnotized and and. He gave us information, and he's going to be hypnotized for another, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. And so, me personally, anyway, as a paladin, who's kind of dumb, feel like, feel yeah. like I don't want, I can't do anything. By the time he comes out of this, we'll be gone. And hopefully, you know, on our way to finding the the people who've been kidnapped. So, I mean, if he was attacking us, that would be one thing. But can we can we maybe tie him up a little, just so that he doesn't wander off and kill those poor people in that little commune there? Cuz does have rope. So do I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that. That way, you know, we, we he'll be okay. He has food. He won't die. Oh, well, cuz if we um, take a long time in the in the in in the hidey hole, I uh he's he's not going to be friendly forever. No, that's true. All right, let's t let's just tie him up then. Yeah. So to the dock. you grab him and he's he's already trying to sling the bag of food over his shoulder and you grab him and <laughs> sort of like, and what the heck? <laughs> not again. <laughs> where, where do you tie him up? Just um, to one of the pilings on the dock, maybe. OK, so uh, tie him up to the dock. And, and yeah. I did want to note that I'm really like I, there has never been a time in my life that I have not been hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to take the food from his pack and redistribute it to all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five days rations back to the peop to everybody. <laughs> Distributed Great. equally. Now slightly slimy. <laughs> 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 I, I am really dumb, but when it comes to food, I've got like a 20 intelligence. I don't, I don't know what that <laughs> Food specific intelligence. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys do now? Well, I think we well, report back. Um, report back to where? Or, I don't know, Um, tell the the uh the old man about what we've learned um that mm. might be a is that a good idea? idea i don't know um everyone else has to decide whether that's a good idea but i can't think of more than one thing at a time so for me he told me where all the monsters are and so all i can see are the monsters 
Um, also, it's night, and the Edmund is probably asleep. Oh, sure. And I don't know if he'll really care about being woken up to, to hear that. <laughs> I think we should head for the high hole. Okay. Yeah. Um, now that we know where it is, we have torches so we can see once we get in there and um, hopefully find what has happened to the people who have been kidnapped. Is that smart, though? Not everyone here has dark vision. Yeah. And, and we might encounter someone along the way. And that's why I wanted to point out because I know, like, I mean, for me, like, this is me not speaking as Flanders. So for me, like, I'm super new to D&D. &D, um, and, I mean, I barely know my butt from my elbow, to be honest with you. And so, like, but I kind of get the whole point of being like, okay, I'm playing a dumb character. And so, um, so, like, my single-mindedness feels like something that's true to a dumb character but if everyone else feels like because i mean obviously we all have our various intelligences as a character and so it's important to kind of take that into account like my character is really dumb and he's very single-minded so but he's also very like because his wisdom is really high and his charisma is very high he's going to talk a lot of shit you know <laughs> so <laughs> So, so, so I guess from a meta perspective, since we're all new to D and D, like just kind of bear that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, my thinking is actually we don't have to go right away because the monster's tied up. Hopefully, you know we can keep an eye on him in case he breaks it free. Um, we can't always just wait till morning when we can all see what we're doing and go then. Mm. Mm. And perhaps someone. Um, who can see in the dark can go to where the hide hole is and watch during the night. It was some people who come in and out. We only have one boat, though. Oh, yeah. Row back to the shore and then yeah. someone goes. Can, can somebody who has night vision see the hidey hole from here? Um, well, I can... Can we see it? That's a good question. Um, Taze was able to pick it out from a distance. It's pretty far. You're, um, and it's dark. So the fact that um, she was able to see it at all is kind of a big deal. Okay. So, um, but it, it's it's not close enough that you can see, like, the holes that you would enter, it you see mounds where something is there, and it is in so, the in the direction of the thing that um, that the fish monster had pointed out. Right. So basically, it, they're there, and that's all we can tell for right now. Right. Um, I'm okay with going out there to try and keep an eye on what's going on. If somebody will go with me. Um, basically I'll go with you and me All right. and me being so focused as I am I will always follow the person who has the most rash idea <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have great ideas <laughs> I, I don't have great wisdom <laughs> so that leaves um, Kess and Effie um, did, Kess did you want to I mean, uh, what would you be doing in the meantime, though? Where, like, you just where, sort of... Where's your intelligence, Kess? <laughs> Maybe keeping watch over the fish dude to make sure he doesn't do anything funny once the spell wears off? Um, well, I'm just saying from a DM standpoint, I'm just like, um, you're the only, like... Oh my it's, god, rule one, don't split the party. Yeah, well, you're splitting the party and also, like, everybody's just sort of going off and then, you know, like, like keeping watch is yeah. not really keeping watch, it's more just going, so. <laughs> well, and then is there anyone who's unscrupulous? Like, I, I don't know, like, do we have anybody who's, I don't know, like, I don't want to metagame, but, like, again, we don't know anything it's about. for me for a bit, what did... What did you say? Sorry. That I that it's it's kind of obnoxious to metagame. I know, but or it's like sometimes it can be funny too. 
But, like, is there any of us who's, like, not necessarily good? There's a few um, neutral people, I think. Or, I don't know which ones they were. Tess well, is neutral good, I mean. Or Tess like is true neutral, but I'm having trouble trying to figure out how to do that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's tough. Like, so for, so for, like, for Flanders, for example, like if somebody's at disadvantage, he'll never attack because he's lawful good. But, you know, for somebody who might not be lawful good, I mean, maybe, you know, like stabbing the fish monster while he's friendly <laughs> might be a good idea. You know, I don't know. Hmm. I think I was for... For... I was actually debating whether or not that was the character for Cass. <laughs> the fish dude, actually. <laughs> um, I'm, I'll say that um, a true neutral character would be just basically pragmatic. Um, mm -hmm. Whatever sounds like the most reasonable and logical or um, desirable uh, thing for you to do. So... As far as I understand it, it's more of a, ah, I'll do whatever the <laughs> hell I want kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, that goes sort of towards chaotic neutral, but it's more of a, you know, this seems reasonable. Let's just do this without too much of a, of a concern of whether that was a good or so, evil. So sort what, of I, thing. what I think in terms of like chaotic neutral is like the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Is, is kind of what I think. Like, I think Vulcans basically are, are you know, like... True neutral. True neutral. Mm -hmm. I've played a chaotic neutral before, which is a lot easier since that character is just a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Cats are chaotic neutral. They are. And they're adorable. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make... Um, Tess, not too chaotic here. Yeah, chaotic <laughs> means more independent and selfish. Um, lawful, obviously, what the law says, but, you know, somewhere in between. More mm. of a pragmatic kind of view. Um. So I'm going to take a... Uh, very quick break, but Flanders anyway is going to follow. It's going on the boat. Is going on the boat. Oh man, what? Um, Tess also <laughs> wants to go, but. Um, well, I mean, if you guys want to go on the boat, you know? preferably when no one. <laughs> Nobody actually has to stay behind. Preferably when no one. <laughs> He would like to be a person um, I want to talk to be discovered by the anyone. Tess would like to quickly kill the fish person and put, push the body <laughs> into the lake before anyone notices. It's possible. <laughs> oh God. Um, the splash. What was that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> do well. Do an attack. At advantage because he is restrained. Um, mm -hmm. eleven. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> this is so. Okay. <laughs> Uh, with advantage, right? Right, yes. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Thank God. I, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> um, oh my God. What kind of attack was that? Um, so I. Um, so I attack with a short sword. So. Um, ten. Now d six. Oh. I rolled a three. So three <laughs> plus three, six. Um, 
you're gonna have to attack him again. He's pretty hardy, and he is squealing now. <laughs> 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 Who is that? Come on. <laughs> no! <laughs> you do get advantage still because he is still restrained. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Again! Oh my god! <laughs> this is ugly. Andy just rolled two natural ones in a row. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you're rolling d6s. Roll d20s. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Because he is wearing, you know, armory stuff. So. Andy. <laughs> what are we trying to do? He, he's trying to kill the, the, the fish monster. <laughs> but he was trying to do it quietly. And now the, and, but he didn't take off enough damage to kill it right away. So oh, now God. it's squealing. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm sort of cursing in in under common. <laughs> and we're over by the boat going, what's that sound? <laughs> Wait, roll another d20 because you still have the advantage. Okay. <laughs> okay, 12 plus 5. Yeah, that's it. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Okay. D6 um, plus three. Maybe I should attack with my longbow this time, since it does more damage. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> your bonus. But he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> longbow in the face. Arrow and stab him with it. <laughs> You're hardcore. <laughs> so it's D eight. It was a four, but it's actually plus three. So, um, so it's seven. Eight. How much was the first damage? It was um, six. Mm, let me see. Yeah, I think um, it was six. Yeah. Uh, six plus seven. Nope, still alive. Oh, he's oh, looking God. pretty rough. <laughs> he's like, ah, his blood is wrong. When Kes writes back to his dad, he's not talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> this was a, this was a, a okay, low moment. So at this point, please tell me that that I I can see what Kes is doing. I roll a perception check with advantage because it's. Screaming. <laughs> <laughs> What's that screaming? I think... I'm just gonna prepare the boat. Um, yeah, I got 15 on my second roll. You notice he's okay. <laughs> There's something definitely going on over there. I'm gonna come back over. <laughs> What the hell? When he when he comes to he'll try to follow us. <laughs> I'm not laughing in character right now. Can I can I try and put this poor thing out of its mercy? A little. Or out of its misery. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead and roll an attack. Okay, so attack is just straight up shoot. Live to a poop will hear about this. He keeps on talking about poop. -poo. No, that's my damage. <laughs> um, shoot, I can never remember how to do the attack. Um, at, click on the name of the thing that you're attacking with. Okay. Okay. Uh, isn't that damage though? No, that isn't damage. <laughs> And, okay, that's just the attack. All right. And your attack, your attack actually glances off of his armor. Of course it does. <laughs> it's so hard to kill. 
Oh wait, that's tied that's what grapple. That's what. what no, that's what the advantage. Do it again. Grapple? Yeah. Yes. Thank He's you. He's restrained, so there. Oh. That's much better. Thank you. Oh my 22. god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, click on the um the name of the in the chat. No, that was. Oh okay. Okay, oh, seven okay. damage. Okay, so now he's dead. Mm -hmm. Finally, jeez. Um, um. He he slumps over. He's still he's cur he had been cursing, but it sort of dies on his in his mouth. Um, I'm gonna take my rope back. <laughs> oh, Basic kneels down next to the body and says like a really quick prayer, I guess. Okay. Just shove the body into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. After, after, after that. Cool. <laughs> He's just covered in blood. Now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove this that torso was, into the lake. That was, bloody that asshole. was just disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> That was just sad. <laughs> I'm. I feel really conflicted right now, because <laughs> he was an evil thing, but I, yeah. I understand, Effie. Yeah, it feels weird. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> yeah, it's just part of the cycle. I'm it's just okay. glad that I got this boat prepared well. Everyone was off doing their thing. It's you're 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 doing okay. The boat looks great. Thank you. So so are we all ready to hop in and head towards this this monster nest to save people? Yeah, yeah let's do that. Okay, so um, I think. We will end the session there. <laughs> because the dungeon master doesn't have the maps. No, to... I do, actually. It's just that it's 1.40 our time. And I know that, like, a couple of you are on Eastern, right? Mm -hmm. And I promised that we would... I mean, if you guys want to keep going, then that's fine. I'm just saying it's late, so... I, I gotta go. Yeah, okay. I, I figured it's pretty late for for you guys. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm usually up late, but anyway, but yeah, yeah, me too. But yeah, it, it's you know. Hey, th thank you, everybody. Yeah, it's been it. it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, this was a really has. hilarious. This is an interesting, interesting. <laughs> uh, a lot of fun rolls. And... Yeah, a lot of 11s. <laughs> <laughs> it's the night of 11s. I'm just glad that yeah. you, uh, I'm happy that you guys are up for being on YouTube. And um, thank you for playing. And it's been a lot of fun. So, um, Before you guys go, um, I am giving out experience. Yay! Um, so it's 100 base. Um, plus, um, <laughs> plus 10 experience for the Kuotoa. <laughs> no, how, is, how is that spelled, by the way? K-U-O, uh, hyphen T-O-A. Okay. okay. Kuotoa. I'm trying to keep notes here, so. Yeah. All right. Um. And I'm giving 50 for role play to each of you. So 160 total. Yay. Yay. Oh, so I'm up to 460 now. So uh, uh, we had to do it on Friday because tomorrow is the... Well, uh, today, I guess. Oh, technically yeah, today. Uh, Happy anniversary, you guys. Thank you. Happy yeah. anniversary. <laughs> How many years? 11. 11. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's, that's why. why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a coincidence, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Um. When are you? Uh, when is? When is everybody uh, up for having another one? Um. Hmm. Are we doing it week after next again? Um, we can do it either uh, every two weeks, every week, or if I mean, like we had. It's, yeah, it's it's kind of like one of those things where if you guys feel like, oh, I really want to know what happens next, let's do it next week, you know, okay. and and then we can do it that way. Or if it's like, eh, we're kind of in a mellow part. Or if you feel like you need a break or something. Yeah, or... let's skip a week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or if you want. Um, oh, I wouldn't. Yeah. I'm probably doing it next week. Yeah, me um, too. I'm actually probably going to miss it if it's next week because it's my friend's first birthday. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, That's fine. Two weeks? Yeah, two weeks is yeah, good. Yeah, two weeks um, is good. So that would be. We're going to do it back on Saturday, so the 20th. Okay. At 10 30, yeah. back at our normal time. Okay. Right. Yeah, ten thirty central. All right. All right, guys. This was a whole lot of fun. Um, I hope you had fun too. And <laughs> I will. Well, I'll see you guys on Tumblr, but uh, we'll have another session in uh, in two weeks. <laughs>